Prince Philip once made the Queen flush scarlet after a supposed comment according to a royal expert. The incident is said to have taken place as the Duke of Edinburgh walked past his wife's dressing room. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, repeated the story which she claimed originated with royal designer Ian Thomas. M. Seward, who has also written a book about the Queen and Prince Philip, was speaking on the Channel 5 documentary Secrets of Royal Dressmakers. She commented, when he was doing the hem, Prince Philip walked through the Queen's dressing room and said HMH, nice dress. The Queen flushed scarlet. I always remember him telling me this story. She was just so thrilled to get the compliment from her husband. Prince Philip first met Princess Elizabeth in 1934. He began corresponding with his future bride, then aged 13, after joining the Royal Navy in 1939. The couple got married in 1947 at a lavish ceremony in Westminster Abbey. Mr. Thomas designed clothes for several female members of the royal family, receiving a royal warrant as a dressmaker in 1973. He originally opened his business in Belgravia's Lowndes Street in 1969. During the documentary the fashion choices of other senior royals were also discussed. Sarah Ferguson, wife to Prince Andrew between 1986 and 1996, came in for particular criticism. M. Sweard said, the worst dresser of all time was definitely Fergie. She looked great in her own clothes, in jeans and t-shirts but she was just a disaster in the fashion of the 80s because it was just too much for her. It was too frilly, there were too many bows. She said so herself. In order to marry Princess Elizabeth Prince Philip gave up Greek and Danish royal titles he had held since birth. The couple had four children, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward. They were born in 1948. 1950, 1960 and 1964 respectively. Prince Philip retired from royal duties on August 2, 2017. By this stage he had completed 22,219 solo engagements since his wife became queen in 1952. Speaking at the time Giles Brandreth, a friend of Prince Philip, said, I think he is retiring now in order to have a few years of retirement and I think the timing is thought through. It's 70 years this autumn since he became the consort of Princess Elizabeth and then the Queen, so, after 70 years, I think he feels probably he has done his stuff. In February 2017 Elizabeth II became the first British monarch to have a sapphire jubilee, meaning she had been on the throne for 65 years. The Queen and Prince Philip keep their relationship very private, and only no closest to them know what they are like as a couple behind closed doors. They were always very professional towards each other at events and engagements, a sheer contrast to the younger royals like Meghan Markle and Prince Harry who always hold hands and sometimes even kiss while out and about. But occasionally a member of the family or another insider gives us a tiny insight into what the couple are like, and it's very sweet. Designer Ian Thomas once recalled a moment the Queen flushed scarlet when her husband made a sweet comment about her as he walked past her dressing room. Speaking on Channel 5's Secrets of Royal Dressmakers, royal expert Ingrid Seward shared the sweet story. Mr. Thomas was the Queen's dress designer for more than 20 years, and was adjusting the hem of his latest creation when the Duke walked past the room. Ingrid says, when he was doing the hem, Prince Philip walked through the Queen's dressing room and said HMH, nice dress. The Queen flushed scarlet. I always remember him telling me this story. She was just so thrilled to get the compliment from her husband. Mr. Thomas opened his own couture business in Lowndes Street, Belgravia, in 1969 and made many of the Queen's outfits under his own label. He also made pieces for other royal women and in 1973 he was awarded a royal warrant as dressmaker. The Queen is always perfectly dressed and her use of block colors and pretty pattern has worked for decades. But not all the royals are quite as successful when it comes to fashion. During the program the experts discuss Sarah Ferguson, with one person describing her as the worst dresser of all time. Ingrid said, the worst dresser of all time was definitely Fergie. 
She looked great in her own clothes, in jeans and t-shirts but she was just a disaster in the fashion of the 80s because it was just too much for her. It was too frilly, there were too many bows. She said so herself. However Emily Andrews claims that Fergie has got much better as she has got older, and know how's exactly what suits her. She said, as an older woman now she has got her style absolutely on point. She's got really good legs. She always wears dresses or pleated skirts, a top and a blazer and she's got that lovely red hair. 